Aloha, I'm Sean Colipony, and we're gonna have a dinner date at two places. The first place is the cheaper option, Jane's Fountain. The burgers you got for us is only $6.55 each. Now we're here at the second place, the more expensive one. 10 times more expensive. We're gonna eat here compared to the first place and see is expensive dates overrated? The tomahawk ribeye, which costs two hundred twenty dollars. Oh, you gotta think you gotta string. <laughs> the day's gone by, baby. First dinner date at Jane's Fountain makes time travel possible. It's old school. It's been around since the 1940s. There's a musical jukebox in there, which I hope it's working. Paid parking, cash only. Doesn't get any more old school than that. Let's go check it out. This is our dinner date at the first place. Everything is old school. Not much has changed, if at all, since the 1940s. They have this jukebox, which I hope it's working. I know it's unplugged right now, but maybe it's still working. You have Unbreak My Heart, Tony Braxton. So we'll play by my wife's request, Unbreak My Heart. That is cool. They have Elton John here, Tony Braxton. They have a lot of 80s and 90s music. So if you feel like going into the time machine, come here to Jane's Fountain. That's why I do food vlogs, because I can't sing for beans. Cash only. Nothing has changed from what I was told, except only for the prices. These boards have been the same since the 1940s. The only thing they've done is change the price and they put tape over the price to let you know what the new prices are. I've heard nothing but good things over here. People like to come here for the nostalgia, but they love to come here for the Simon and their burger patties. They're really known for their cheeseburgers because they're homemade and they're really known for their hamburger steak because it's homemade and they put a lot of their sauce on top. We already started off on a good note with the jukebox. In order to have a chance at YouTube, you must have no shame. I wasn't born in the era, but I could only imagine. Days gone by. <laughs> I got excited. I've never seen a jukebox before in my life. I've seen it in movies like Grease, and all the old school 70s movies, but first time in real life, so sorry. So we should start off with the Simon. It was really good, it's steaming, and let's dive in. Real traditional, real simple, natural flavors. But my favorite part of this dish is the wonton. The wonton is delicious. If you ask me, this is the star. And all the spam is right here on the bottom, the best part. I mean, you just gotta have a simple down-to-earth time here and that's what this place is about. That's why it's been able to last 80 years and counting and it ain't slowing down anytime soon. But let's move on to the burgers, the cheeseburgers. It looks simple and I can't wait to try me some of this. Let's see if this will make us happy. I feel a part, I the yes, oh yeah, I it kind of for me looks like a McDonald's burger, just a very, very upgraded version. Good dressing, a really delicious patty. But the portion size here is decent. It's quite good. That's the one thing that stood out immediately when I took a hold of that cheeseburger is the bun. And the bun was soft. The burger patty melted in your mouth. I don't remember the last time I had a good homemade cheeseburger. So that was some good stuff. And you know what else looks pretty good? It's this hamburger steak. And of course, you gotta serve it with mac salad. I mean, how can you not? Let's eat. Everything tastes better with Mac salad. You will not find a Polynesian that loves food that will say, nah, no Mac salad, please. 
really a homemade feeling. That's the feeling you get here and those are the kind of memories you get stir up when you come here. So if you're on a cheap date that it still has a lot of quality, has a lot of good positive vibes. Everything has an occasion. It really goes down to the effort. Simple dates like these are just way more relaxing. It's just super relaxing. Nee doesn't dig my singing though, but I try. That is a thick, soft, juicy patty. It took up one whole half of the plate, so everything was... And we almost forgot about this barbecue stick. It looks it's pretty flat. Yeah, I was just about to say, it doesn't look that impressive, but hey, you can't judge everything by how the way it looks. Not the best barbecue stick. I mean, I just have to be honest. I mean, something that will definitely be added to the wonton salmon that will make it taste better. I think that we will both enjoy the nostalgic, old school Coke flow. This is some old school Coke float right here. I haven't had one of these for maybe a, a decade or two. I think someone told me they have really good Coke floats over here and I want to dive in. That is a big piece right here. I like how the float just, everything just foams and it melts right in your mouth with the ice cream. Look at that overflow action right here. That was awesome. So what do you think? You know what may not be so relaxing is the next place we're going to because the bill might be that much more expensive because we're going on the most expensive date we could find on the island. So the cost of our meal was $49.50. Basically $50. We thought that was a good deal, but I'm afraid the next place might cost 10 times as much. We'll just have to go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed there. Now we're here at the second place, the more expensive option. Actually, it's 10 times more expensive than the first place. So expensive that they don't even have the prices on the website. But we're gonna tell you the prices, compare the two places and see, is expensive days overrated? Let's find out. Thanks, bro, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, and, and here's the tip, here's the tip. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Hey, thanks, bro, I appreciate it. Hello. Yeah, oh yeah, that's us. Hey guys, you Chicago? Yes. We're eating dinner at Mina's Fish House, which is located in the Four Seasons Hotel in Koalina. And the Four Seasons is known for having a prestigious hotel. Everything is expensive, upscale. But Mina's Fish House, you go through the grand staircase, you hook a left, you see the pool area. So here we are, we're gonna be eating at Mina's Fish House. You guys gotta check out this view. This is of the Koalina Lagoon One. There's four lagoons, but in my opinion, Lagoon One is the most beautiful. Just check it out for yourself. Now let's order some beverages. I do know the saying, if can, can, and if no can, no can. That's a really local pigeon way of talking, and because of it, I gotta get the drink. Mmm. Mm. It's orange, it has like a tangy taste that's pineapple, and it's complemented with the rum, which tastes really good. This costs $24. This is the Pu'u Loa's Keeper. It's matcha-infused gray goose with coconut. I would say one of the best drinks I've ever had. For appetizers, we got seared ahi and smoked marlin with taro chips on the house. Mm, so fresh and it is good. Just know that everything we've had so far is a winner indeed. We ordered the garlic and duck fat french fries. Let's dive into the only reasonably priced thing on the menu. Mm, this is the best smelling fries ever. So we already have one of the best drinks you had of all time and this is your top three french fries. I already get the vibe here that everything they do is on the highest quality scale. Better be because it costs that much money. There is complimentary hummus and flatbread, which is a nice gesture. 
Mina's Fish House welcomed the world's first fish sommeliers. In simple words, they go to each table and talk about the fish, explain the taste and texture of each local fish. This is Ryan. He is one of the few fish sommeliers in the world. I couldn't take the fish away from him, although I want to run away with it because he watches our videos. But <laughs> that's very impressive and thanks Ryan. Thanks for doing what you do. The night's coming, a little bit more romantic. We have an amazing musician playing right now and it's all anticipation for the main event. The entries for today are Michael Mina's lobster pie for $115 a 40 ounce tomahawk ribeye for two for $220 and the mong chong fish prepared with ginger and scallion for $73. Yeah, <laughs> it's pricey, but the presentation of the food is very satisfying. The lobster pie is being prepared right in front of us. What a great show. I, I got a feeling I can be someone. First, we want to go for this rare deep water fish, Mong Chong. It's a special kind of fish, more of a rare fish. $65 for the Mong Chong fish and $8 for them to season it up. $73 is right here. We're gonna see if it's worth it. It was a little rough to cut up because we were told that it's a little bit like a steak. Thank you so much, Brittany. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> I feel like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yes. Okay, back to the food. It looks like any other ordinary fish, but let's see how it tastes. It's a little chewy, but quite easy to eat. It's very potent. I mean, you really taste the fish. You taste the saltiness, and you taste a whole lot of flavor. Usually when I eat lobster, I only eat the body. I, I never get like the whole claw of meat. This is the finest lobster meat I've ever had. And the body part is soft and pure heaven. I mean, seriously, the sweetest lobster meat. This is one big claw and it's all meat too. It's all completely lobster meat. The claw meat have a smooth and different texture. And that sauce, that creamy sauce is to die for. I think this is the co-main cool event because the main event is that much bigger and it costs almost double. And we're gonna introduce that to you because it's for two. The tomahawk ribeye for two, which costs $220. John claude Van Damme, that's a lot of money. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was meaty, chewy. It was sweet. It wasn't like your average steak meat. That thing was flavorful. The texture of it was unbelievable. And it just had a lot of juices that flowed right in your mouth. Look how tender and tasty that looks. This is Lily Koi sauce. And I just wanna tell you, it's heavenly with that Hawaiian touch. And this is the best sauce I've ever had with any piece of meat. And we think our meals are amazing, and I think we should end it off with some dessert. So, if you guys watch the channel, you guys know that I love shave ice probably more than anyone in the Loa State. <laughs> so, we had to get ourselves some shave ice here, and this is the strawberry mango shave ice. It's so little bit for an expensive price, but we're gonna see how it tastes like. I think this is more like a slushy, like a really good, tasty, strawberry, fruity slushy. I wouldn't recommend you getting shave ice here, so you gotta hear from me. This is the exotic baked Hawaii. It's coconut lime frozen cake with rum, 
pineapple, and macadamia. We have all that marshmallow here, bam, right here. Let's eat up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that lime is perfect. And we forgot to add some of that macadamia right here, which I'll put, and just kind of put some of the frosting there. And that's what you needed to put the icing on this cake for the final touches. See? I love everything about this today. We're gonna see if we're gonna love the, the check that's coming up shortly. And that's what you guys wanna see, what was the total cost of this meal. Now we got the bill. Drum roll, please. Oh, the total bill came out to $530. Are expensive dates worth it? Are expensive dates worth it? Well, as long as you're in good company, good food and positive vibes, it shouldn't matter whether it's expensive or not. Just keep it simple. Like we're here watching the sunrise here at Makapu'u with some good snacks and that's a good date for us. So with that being said, follow me at Hawaiian Traveler on Instagram that's located down below. Like and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the sunrise. Leave our friends alone, please.